Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. Yo, what's going on, G Dot Squad? It's your boy G Dot TZ, and I'm back with another banging ass BZ, and I'm back with my favorite boy Pluto. Ain't that right, Pluto? Hey, stop trying to bite me, man. You crazy, man. You just crazy. You loco, homes. You loco. But go ahead and get straight into today's video, man. We got another cheater on the loose. Today's cheater is brought to you by Jack TV. So go ahead and subscribe to his channel. We're gonna go ahead and just get it busted and watch what's going on right now. I'm gonna try doing some longer videos on this channel, see if you rocking with him. Cause if you rocking with it, then I'm rolling with it. And let's go ahead and get straight into it. Man, let's get this action going. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, guapboyg. and Twitter, guapboyg. It's going. Wait. Also, don't forget to visit dre.us so you can stay up to date with the latest, newest, hottest clothing drip we got coming out for the low skinny, nee 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 prices. And don't forget to, you know, what I'm saying, cop this for the season is over with. Ooh, the collection is over with. Let me move on to the next collection. You feel what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get straight into it, though. Welcome back to another podcast on Jack TV, you guys, man. You guys what up, what have up, what been up? watching or been under a rock and have not seen the video that's surfacing on the internet right now. Let's go ahead and play that clip right now. Bro, go on watch your business, bro. Go on watch your business, bro. Go on watch your business, bro. What the? Bro, go on, go on watch your business, bro. All right, go on watch your business, though. See, you wasn't even in the video. You don't know if them videos real or fake. You don't know what's going on. You don't even know anybody that actually got exposed by these videos, but you gonna run up on me on the street talking tough as hell? Do you know them niggas is in Texas? Do you know them niggas can legally blick the shit out your ass and there's nothing you can do about it? Like, they can legally, like, blick your ass and there's nothing. Like, you're the aggressor, bro. All you gotta do is take a few steps forward and I can blick you and get away with it. I don't even have to go to jail. So what the f*** is you talking to me crazy for, Goofy? What you talking about? Bro, bro go on about your business, bro. He keep telling him go about his business. Man, bro. Go on about your business, big dog. Okay. 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 Alright. Are you by yourself, too? Him and his girlfriend get married, you just let them break up and show some lame goofy ass. I don't know what you talking about, bro. Hey, go on about your business, bro. You doing all that talking, go on about your business, bro. Go on about your business, bro. Man, that's 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 go on about your business, bro. Better go on about your business, big dog. Okay. 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 And this this is when you know niggas start really getting into the territory, but they finna get their ass whooped. Because when somebody just starts saying, okay, and they let you mouth off and they keep saying, okay, okay, okay. It's letting you know, you need you got like five seconds to shut the up before it really go there. And y'all just gonna keep talking and letting it go there. And then when it go there, ain't nobody gonna feel sorry for your ass. You feel what I'm saying? So we're gonna see what happened next. What are you doing? What, what are you on? Yeah, nigga, I know you ain't talking about nothing. Don't watch your business, bro. Don't watch your business, bro. What you talking about then? What you talking about then? Oh, whoa, oh, damn! Three piece special! Put them down! Put them down! Ding, 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 ding! On YouTube because of the guidelines. Make sure yeah, you like dang. go to my Instagram at John. I ain't even had to see the whole video, Shorty. I just seen it through the blur that he got his ass molly whopping and put down in like 2.5 seconds. Nigga, if you can't fight, shut the f when you're on the street, you heard? To watch the full clip. And make sure you do it now because I don't control how long they actually allow me to keep it up. After you watch that clip, please come back to the podcast. Come back. Come back, bro. Talking about, nigga. Come on, man. What's up, fool? Let's go, bro. They smart enough to walk off after that shit, though. Smart enough. Hey, man. Shout out to you, Jack, but we ain't doing no free promo. You want to hear some promo, you know what I'm saying? Tell your sponsors, holla at me, and we can go again and get it on. First thing he said was... Y'all them whole ass niggas that be doing that cheetah, this and that, right? Right. So he came off disrespective and aggressive. Right. Facts. He was kind of like, he had a little smirk on his face, so I didn't know if he was serious or not. Yeah. So I'm just, like, paying attention to him or whatever. Right. But the reason why we was out there, the reason we was actually able to catch it with the cameras and the mics, because we was actually conducting a loyalty test that might still air. I don't know if I'm going to put it out right now because we actually didn't finish it, but. Might as well, shit. You got, you know what I'm saying, a little clout from it. Might still air. Might as well. So then, boom. He, he pointing his finger. He going back and forth from me and the Jack. Y'all do this. Y'all do that. And 
bro, you know the crazy part is, bro was really, bro was really mad at us because of his partner. Yeah, Supposedly, so he kept saying that um, we messed up him and his girl. He, we messed up him and his partner, girlfriend, marriage. Supposedly, you know he's talking about. At all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I scroll through the videos and see what loyalty tests we conducted that could have aligned with that, that's only one episode. But I still right. stay in contact with the guy, so I really don't know what he's talking about. Yeah. Which which leads to me feeling like he could have possibly been intoxicated. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe on some type of. Could have been trolling. Yeah. yeah. He just. But he didn't look like it though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't look like it, bro. I I really thought he was just gonna say what he had to say, and then walk off. You know what I'm saying? And then I thought what what um also I thought was that he was like had somebody else like from a distance filming and trying to see us to do some stuff. Yeah, you know trying to like just do some like, yeah for you know clout type. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So I'm just trying to analyze the situation. I'm gonna I'm gonna say this though for Jack. I ain't gonna lie. You look you famous now, cool. So you can't just be lollygagging in public and shit because like a lot of people know your face especially in your hometown where you could conduct most of your loyalty tests so i would say like you know your security guard gave he did he did the job but you might need to hire one more just to be safe out there or you know what i'm saying carry that blicky blicky with you at all times just to be safe because you never know what a nigga might be on i'm looking at gay i'm kind of just i'm knowing like where this can go and it actually got there but it was just more so bro it worked for real i told you Bro, I thought they ain't worried. Show the camera. Like, hold the camera. Man, hello, man. We ain't, we ain't gonna keep doing this promo, man. Go on about your business. You know right. what I'm saying? And right. when he told me, this one made me like, I had to take it in. When he told me, I'm staying 10 toes down, I knew then I'm like, he ain't going nowhere. Bro. I'm probably going to whoop his ass. So him initially walking up, what did you think? I was just like, he was going to say something and keep walking. You know what I'm saying? I thought he was going to say something like, yeah, yeah. So that's why I was like, okay, bro, you said what you had to say. Like, go about your business, but he didn't walk off. He just stood there, bro. You know what I'm saying? So Crazy, like, man. He really ain't going nowhere. So when, he, when I kept telling him to go somewhere, he was like, man, I'm 10 toes down, this and that, this and that. And I knew then. Right. I was going to take it there, bro. Right. So there ain't no goofy. That's one thing I give Gabe and them. There ain't no goofies. In itself says that he obviously know who we are or he yeah. watch what we do. Fact. Why do you feel like people who watch what we do, they try you all the time? Man, I, <laughs> I think it's because. I think for really. Sorry about that. I really think it's because you light skinned, folks. Like, you know, back they said always that stigma that light skinned niggas can't fight, light skinned niggas can't do nothing. I really just think it's because you light skinned and niggas be trying to try you just because they don't they don't respect you or they think because of the complexion of your skin that, that you ain't gonna do shit. But little do they know, you was not f***ing goofy. Bro, in person, we pretty small, bro. You know what I'm saying? We ain't like <laughs> that too. Giants, bro. Now, nah, facts. A lot of people tell me, you know what I'm saying, I'm way smaller than what I appear to be on the internet. Like, yeah. people be thinking I'm be like, Way taller, which is yeah. crazy. Yeah, same with me, bro. And they see me, they like, this nigga security. You know what I'm saying? But they don't know the, the backstory behind it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I feel like people, bro, when they see us, most of the times when they see us, bro, they be like, man, y'all boys keep doing y'all thing, keep doing y'all thing. You know, every now and then they have somebody like him, you know what I'm saying, find out the hard way. Yeah. Yeah, and y'all got to understand. Yeah, Gabe is my partner, but at the end of the day, I hired him for a reason. <laughs> for a reason. You know man. what I'm saying? He's not just walking around the security vest to for aesthetic. No, that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? He can really secure some stuff. He's very trained and proficient. So proficient I gotta and whooping that, that ass. ass. Kick out of that or whatever. But um, being trained and being a boxer, how are you able to choose when you're gonna use your skill set? And how do you? Is it hard for you to pick the situation? Is it hard for you to like restrain? Nah, it's not, bro. Cause I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. People that 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 really train and fight, you know what I'm saying? They real humble. Cause train do that to you. You know what you do, somebody. So so training humbles you, bro. And then, uh, but at the end of the day, we all grown. You know what I'm saying? Respect okay. and everything, bro. I ain't finna the gym okay. because I'm in the gym training or I'm fighting on TV, this and that. I'm not finna let you come up and like just talk about me or spit in my face. Like, you know you, what I'm saying? Because you feel like I can't do nothing. Yeah, because you feel like I can't do nothing. Do so. you feel like a lot of boxers who do train, they feel like they can't touch nobody because they'll get some type of trouble? Nah. They gonna yeah. get dead on your ass. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. So. Niggas you crazy. See, people got this myth going on. If you a fighter, your hands registered, bro. That's just a myth that somebody made up back in the day, bro. You know what I'm saying? Oh, now, so your hands not registered? Like, what, no, what do that no, mean? What no, do that mean? Somebody made it, bro. When you turn pro, it means you're a professional fighter. You know what I'm saying? You're a professional boxer, bro. That's, right. that's what you is. Now, your hands your hands is considered as a weapon. But 
if you get into altercation with somebody, bro, and you defending yourself, it's cool. You can, right. like, you can't just stand over somebody and just, like, pound on them. You know what I'm saying? Right. And in this case, y'all seen he swung at me first. Yeah, for sure. And um, to go off what you just said, do you feel like people mess with you more because they want to test you in a sense that, okay, he says he's a professional fighter? All the time. I don't know why people do that, but all the time, bro. Like, that's crazy. Like Yeah, that's crazy. You would think it would be the opposite. Opposite, like, bro. leave him alone. Yeah, <laughs> bro. That, I'm telling people, bro, people are crazy, bro. They do that all the time. Oh, he a professional? Oh, go ahead and try him. I don't know why they do that, bro. Yeah. So you strapping off the vest, you know what I'm saying? He ended up swinging on you first, but when you when you strapped off the vest initially, was you in your head like it's go time, or what? What made you take take the vest off? All right, so boom. When I seen he wasn't going nowhere, right? So right. I'm like, ah, right, he ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna see what he bought. So when right. I said, "What you talking about?" Then when I grabbed the vest, I seen him pull his pants up. So you know, you pull your pants up. I mean, you finna do something. Yeah. So when I'm when I when I'm strapping on the vest, I'm like, man, I know he ain't finna try this, bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? So soon I pull the vest, so soon I start taking the uh, strap off, he rushed me. Yeah, he swung at you. He swung me. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it real, bro. He hit me. He caught me one time right in my mouth. He caught me one time. At what point? So so soon I took it off and he ran up. Yeah. And I stood a side step. Yeah. He did like this and hit me right in my mouth. Oh, I ain't even see that. Yeah, he me, he me, he touched me. Yeah. So make, make make sure you guys go tune into that clip, you know, on Instagram at John Lee, man, so y'all can see the full clip, so y'all won't be lost in what we talking about. Nah, facts, facts. So, so, so soon I hit the step back, he did like this, but he put his head down though. So when he put his head down, he ain't see which way I was going because I had because I hit him with a side step. Yeah. So so basically he threw a punch from his eyes closed, <laughs> and then after he hit me. I just thought letting him rain, but I was down the middle with him, bro. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Right, right, right. I I knew it was gonna happen. Like I knew it was gonna happen because what y'all understand is, is that like if y'all from Houston, y'all know Washington Street is a busy street, especially on the weekend, Thanks. Sunday in particular. Like it's very, very, very busy. So us being out there, everybody walking by, nobody Thanks. is bothering us, nobody is getting in the way of us, nobody is disrespecting us. But he decides to come up, take the time out of his day, and sit there. For two minutes. Now it's different if he would have sat there for two minutes and he wouldn't be disrespectful. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, cool. You know what cool. I'm but y'all gotta understand, he's in our face, in our space, calling us all type of names and disrespecting us, and stayed there for two minutes. Facts, bro. That's a lot of patience. A lot. You know what I'm saying? I was reading the comments on real. Instagram and people were saying, you know what I'm saying, Gabe should have been. <laughs> nah, that's what they said. They say, yeah. they say I said, I should have been ran up in his mind. I'm glad you handled it like that, cause. It ain't lying. Like early road would have just looked like you just wanted to beat him. It ain't lying. You know what I'm saying? You told him 20 times. The infamous line. Go on about your business, big dog. Yeah. Go on about your business. Go on about your business, bro. Hey, you might need to go ahead and throw that on the hey. shirt. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Just let me get my full opinion on this real quick. First of all, if you're going to run up on a nigga, you better have that fire on you just in case you get your ass woo so you can, you know. Because he could have he could have really hurt that boy. Like, camera's off. I don't know this nigga for real. He could have really hurt that boy. Second of all, stop trying to press niggas and do shit for clout in the city because it's not going to go, well, not even in the city, just in, in purpose and in public for real, even on the internet, it's not going to go how you think it's going to go because you don't know what the hell a nigga got. You don't know what type of training a nigga got. You don't know what's going on for real. So you don't want to just be in a position where you on a busy ass busting street, you out by yourself and you get your ass beat. Now you got to take the walk of shame back to your car. This is not looking too good for you. And you just, just leave people alone, bro. Keep the peace, leave people alone and mind your business man but shout out to gabe for doing what he got to do and beating that nigga ass senseless it took one lick but you gave out 15 mo so 15 to one man that sounds like a good dub boss man